Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial. This week isn't so much of a tutorial actually, it's more of a breakdown, really short because I've already done uh, something similar, it's kind of based off of what I've already done a couple of weeks ago. So I did this disrupted rope dynamics video which did pretty well compared to my other videos. So rather than do a whole new tutorial, I'm just gonna break this down. So if you wanna go check out that video, it's probably in the top corner now. So this one's a really easy one, it's not complex at all, but I just think it's a cool effect. Maybe people who are new to cinema aren't aware of this kind of technique, but it's just super, super easy. So nothing complicated here, um, but I'm just gonna show you. So if you've got an object that can be affected by turbulence, such as like a hair system like I've got here, or maybe you've got like a cloth simulation, as long as it can be affected by turbulence then this effect is going to work. You might have seen in some animations where something might pass by some grass really quickly and the grass kind of wisps just to kind of emphasize that something's moving really quickly. That's what I'm going to kind of just break down here real quick. I've got this plane here which I've just added a load of segments to 60 by 60 uh, just so that I can actually see the hairs because if you drop in a hair system it will place uh, a hair strand on each vertex. So to get more, I just upped the segment count and then upped the count in here, up the hair, just so that we can actually see it rather than having to render uh, something. So if I hit play, you can see, same as I did in my other tutorial, I had this arrow just passing by with a spherical field on it, and you can see it's creating this turbulent uh, effect on the grass strands. Uh, and they kind of just go back to normal after it's passed by. Because in my initial tutorial, I used that freeze field, uh, which would have kept the effect going, uh, because wherever this spherical field passes by, the freeze field would continue to stay there. This grass would just keep uh, like kind of wobbling around. So I've not done that. I've just literally kept it as simple as the spherical field so wherever whatever grass strands are in that spherical field they're gonna shake so this would be useful if we're creating like a pass by of course you'd probably have your object moving a lot quicker but, but it just really helps add some emphasis to the speed of an object that's moving in your animation inside the hair system i've also had to go into dynamics and turn on rigid um, this just helps keep the strands sitting upright uh, if i was to turn this off you'd see when i hit play they just all drop down yeah, the effect still works, but it's yeah, this is a complete mess. So when you turn on rigid, it just gives them uh, kind of like a stiffness uh, to staying up. I think the only thing I changed was maybe I might have turned the drag down to one from two percent, which didn't really make too much of a difference. I think I was just messing around with it. Most of the other parameters didn't do too much, so I didn't. I left them as they are. Depending on how heavy your scene is, if you've got other stuff going on, then maybe you could up the segments that you've got for these hair strands. The more segments you've got, the more bendy and I guess real looking the strands would be. But if your shot, like your camera angle is quite far away, if you're like up here and you've got something passing by, then you don't need it to be super detailed because you're not gonna see it. But if maybe if you're getting a really close up shot, then maybe you could up these segments. It's really just based on what you're using it for. I did add a friction force, um, as I thought maybe after the spherical fields passed by, it might help the strands kind of return back to their usual place. Um, I haven't actually tested that too much, but I think that would help. So yeah, not a very complex tutorial at all. It's just something I wanted to point out for people who might be new to Cinema 4D that just want to add some extra life to their animations. Sorry, it's not a very cool and new interesting technique. It's really just aimed at beginners to cinema, not so much people who are already well experienced with cinema. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh.